ሰላም ክብራት ተኻታተልት ሰቲት ናይ ሎሚ ጋሸና ሰዲስ ራጃ ሰዲስ ራጅ አብ ጀመር ተመጥ ፖለቲካዊ ንጥፈታት ናይ ተዓዲ ተሳተፈን ቅም ሕጁና መደምና ምጽና ነርና ኢና ምስሓም ላይ ውድብ ወይ ግሪን ፓርቲ ተሰርሕና ኦ ተዋዳደርን ከም ዘወርኮ ፖለቲካዊ ንጥፈታት ናይ አብ ጀርመን ተሳተፈያ ዚያዳ ግን ዚያዳ ንሳውን ሌላ አስፈህ ዝበለ አን ብሕጅ ሓጺር ስለዝነበረ አድል ክንባይና ኽትበና ግን ናይ ሞሎ መደምና እቲ ዚያዳ አተኩሮም ጋብሮሎ ደሊና ደለና በዕለት 26 27 28 ተደይተጋጊየ መስከረ አኼባ ናይ G7 አፍሪካን ተኻይዱ ነው እቲ አኼባ ኮንፈረንስ ኣብ ትሕቲ ዲሞክራሲያዊ ሪሊዚሊንስ ድብል አርስቲ ወይ ወን ተዴ ተጋጌ ስትራንዝኒንግ ዲሞክራሲ ቻርጅስ ኤ ሪዚሊየንት ኢንስቲትዩሽን ኢን ጂ7 ኤንድ አፍሪካ ድብል ቲም አኼባት ኻይዱ ነሩ አብ ተሳቲፋ ነራ ሰዲ ነቲ አብ ትነጥፈሉ ውድም ናይ ኤሪትራውያን ምትኽኻብ ወኪላ ተሳቲፋ ነራ ብስፍህ ዝበለ አብዚ ኢና ክንዛረብ ሎሚ ሰዲ በመጀመርታ ግን አብስም ተኻታተልትና ነዚ አድል ክትብና በቃደኛ መሃንኪ ከመስክነ ኪፈቱ ቴንክ ዩ ይሁን ያለ ታግስቲ መስክነኩም መሰቲት ወን ሐምዚል ኩምቲ ዘና ፈተብሉ ኸለኹም ተብጽሑ ኸለኹም ቴንክ ዩ ፎር ዚስ ኢንተርቪው ኤንድ ያ ኦፖርቹኒቲ ወን አና um thank you um o khamtu tsubla tsanahki chairwoman of uh, uniting eritrean voices in german yeah this is the organization uh, is an umbrella organization um نحنا حجي ابزا امبريلا اورجانيزيشن مور ذان 60 اورجانيزيشنز اند برايفت بيرسونز ممبر سالونا مالتيو ام ذيس امبريلا اورجانيزيشن ام ريبريزنتس ذا اريتريان كوميونيتي ليفينغ ان جيرماني ابز جيرمان زلونا اريتراويانسي ريبريزنتس نان غوبرا Um, so we are in constant contact with federal government um uh, not on her issues uh, the hallu of eritrean society uh way um the hona nagar in hallu um yeah kana blom khelina um so um the i would like to take this opportunity to ask all eritreans located in germany to attend uh, our organization and work with us uh, for the late fitri sinit and cohesion uh, of the society um as you already know ana dami tsrah yo blore yo khakaido fatiye mistom sana ab tashim zollo afti board members zollo um firkel bay german firkel bay eritrea sile zona so mkhaliti u kamal fitniya absolutely and anytime feel free the english yihshan tel khatmilis wala ana btigrinya tahatitaki yirdan you abdega abi khihi tsagam nay konqa kgat mqali ana biwogene ko nfati ile ede hasibti konqa tigrinya gin feel free abd ana madrah bi english kitzara be malati selezi na tres kan halib ከምዚ ድበልና ዓለት 27 26 እቲ ናይ G7 ምስ አፍሪካ ሬዚሊየንስ ኦፍ ዲሞክራሲ ድብል አርስቲ ዝሓዘ ተሳቲፍ ክንየር ከተዕላማ ናይ ትምስታፍ እንታይ ነው እቲ አኼባኸ እቲ ኮንፈረንስ እንታይ መስሉ ንሰማተና yeah uh, well it uh, conference provided an overview overview of existing initiatives and uh, potential for partnerships in uh, relation to democracy uh, promotion on this topic um mm-hmm. so we were also able to take many impulses and uh, insights uh, with us um, for instance how can democratic Uh, civil society actors be supported supported by uh, governance and others in order to strengthen our democracy by possibly uh, rec- recognition uh, recognizing and identifying uh, for example fake news or something mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. 
Okay. So uh, democracy was the topic, of course. What are the challenges? And, and, and can you uh, equate democracy challenge with G7 countries with that what is going uh, taking place in Africa? Can we equate them, actually? And what yeah. are common challenges? And did the conference address those common challenges? Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, challenges in the G7 and countries uh, and also Africa are very different because the developments in democracy are um, different. Um, but uh, what is very interesting is that the challenges of spreading of uh, disinformation or fake news over the internet and of course manipulation it beforehand is very boring. This is what we are all seeing all over the world, actually. Um, so when we think, uh, for example, uh, America, so uh, America uh, in case of Trump uh, or um, in Africa, there's also spreading a lot of uh, disinformation. Therefore, you always have to question the news or videos in social media and take a closer look whether it is um, a fake or not. Of course, there are often political proposals or opponents of democracy behind it. And um, this is the main problem. And uh, it uh, should be, uh, yeah, it is somehow a challenge, uh, we can say. Okay, uh, so in, in, from what I heard so far, uh, uh, the de democratic process or resilience of democracy is challenged or is under attack due to the misinformation and disinformation. Uh, is that what you're saying? That's the main challenge of democracy in the G7 countries in Africa? Is that how it was perceived in the conference? Yeah, they uh, explained um, a lot of uh, uh, examples and showed us a lot of examples how to um, uh, have a closer look and uh, which kind of uh, uh, searching machine uh, are uh, protecting such uh, disinformation or not. For example, Google uh, less than others uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this was uh, yeah, discussed, well discussed in uh, different sessions uh, which we made mm -hmm. uh, in, in a like workshop. And there was also uh, uh, professionals who provided um, such uh, information. Um, yeah, okay. and we discussed about it, of course. So how, uh, uh, if I uh, understand the challenges uh, uh, is uh, similar, both in uh, Africa, the, the way you're exactly. saying, but how would, uh, uh, Africa doesn't have the many tools to, to decipher whether it's uh, 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 fake news, as you say, or whether it's uh, factual uh, uh, occurrences. So how would you, did the conference come with any suggestions how Africans can decipher or uh, uh, analyze whether uh, the information they're getting is false, uh, not false, because I understand the developed countries like where you are from and in the United States and so uh, others, they do have the mechanism, even still, while it's a challenge, they do still have the mechanism. But how do you recommend, or how mm. did the governments or the G7 countries recommend to decipher this challenge or to analyze this challenge? Yeah, of course. So uh, the, uh, um, you, you said, or as we said, the developments in democracy are uh, different between the G7 countries and Africa, of course. Africa has uh, not a lot of opportunity to uh, go mm -hmm. against it, but uh, there were attended also uh, civil uh, society mm -hmm. uh, organizations from Africa, not only from government, uh, but also from uh, civil society. And um, I think the the the, the representative uh, representative of this civil society are uh, now um, asked to to share it uh, in the society or within the, so the society. Yeah. 
and did they come with any uh, recommendations of civil societies? So what's their role and uh, uh, what is the media role, uh, especially we're focusing in uh, in uh, in Africa since uh, we we know the many challenges that are there. Mm. Yeah, the civil society and the media play uh, yeah, a major role in democracy, of course. We have civil society which obviously freely expresses um, its opinion and, if necessary, criticizes or praises uh, politics and can uh, thus determine the direction of the government, of course, which um, it's, of course, livelihood. Um, mm -hmm. I also see the media as responsible uh, through good research work and reporting. So let's say as both of them are, of course, uh, the drivers uh, of democracy. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. So besides the attributes you just mentioned and many of the challenges you said about uh, democracy in the uh, G7 countries and as well as African countries, uh, do you think ethnicity, poverty and literacy can hinder the development or the progress of democracy mm. uh, in Africa? Yeah, yes, especially, yeah, unfortunately for Africa, there are many factors that prevent Africa from development democracy further. Um, a good example in this case is uh, Ghana. The federal foreign minister was also present in the G7 and Africa conference um, in Berlin. And um, she gave uh, an impressive speech. Um, Ghana's government is democratic and well run. Um, where, uh, yeah, here the G7 countries and Africa must cooperate on an equal way in the future uh, to develop, to help uh, Africa to develop. But we are also increasingly noticing that a lot of fake news, news is cre uh, uh, circulating in some African countries in order to prevent democracy. So um, this is somehow a big challenge, but um, we are very optimistic that it could be uh, possible um, if uh, there is a good and intensive uh, uh, cooperation between uh, G7 countries and uh, Africa. So at the end, what did you come out uh, from the conference? Uh, is there any hope that this could uh, change course or is the challenge going bad worse? It is a challenge, of course. Um, it is a challenge. So there were uh, not only a social society, of course, there were also professionals, as I said, and they uh, could give uh, some uh, information, hints, how to do, uh, how to uh, develop. Um, but uh, as I said, Ghana is, uh, uh, yeah, one a very good uh, example. Um, and uh, I think, uh, yeah, uh, all other Africa country hopefully can uh, also be like uh, uh, Ghana with a good uh, democratic government and uh, well run. Um, let's see. So it's up to the societies, to the civil society, especially in uh, those countries. Excellent. Last comment, uh, but before we go to the last, uh, I will ask you, uh, uh, what would you uh, recommend or suggest to a rich society, uh, mm. which part of the African society that is facing the same problem of uh, fake information or fake uh, news? Yeah, well, I have uh, already said that uh, this information, especially that of anti-democrats, um, leads to a division in society. So mm -hmm. they divide mm -hmm. the society. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, I also see this increasingly within our Eritrean community. Um, if you uh, if uh, you want democracy, peace, and freedom, you have to put up with different opinions and try to find an agreement through compromises. I would wish that for Eritrean society outside Eritrea, especially living outside Eritrea um, uh, in Germany, that uh, not only in Germany, uh, all uh, other. Um, 
all over the world, of course, um, to uh, learn or to get some uh, debate culture, yeah, mm -hmm. to improve that. And um, yeah, I think uh, uh, we have to uh, hear uh, to each other, yeah, and uh, to get to know and to understand what, uh, um, how can we uh, get to the same objectives and um, to come to uh, compromises. So. From my side, uh, um, um, I don't have any more questions. Is there any last comment you would like to address or uh, clarify upon? Yeah, that's that's it uh, actually from my side. So I wish, of course, that um, uh, yeah, Eritrea can be uh, a democratic uh, country. So. Um, especially for, for the people who are living there inside the country and um, have uh, peace uh, and see it uh, and uh, free opinion. So uh, especially also for the women, of course. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Sadi. I really appreciate for giving us this opportunity. Uh, for Thank you, Tegesti, for this opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you. German G7 Africa Hagar and Taos or Akheba Walat Kaidunir to Alha, it's good to hot at my democracy, Akaida and Taimasil, Homigirka to Bidho, we will net Bidho to Tablo, as will Medaviniru, a Bhalet to Histo Abkal Malskandrahab, Ksapshu, Salam Kane, Nuhulana.